This is Stuart Jones reporting for Opera Africa News. Are you tired of empty promises and broken deals? Are you fed up with politicians who steal your money and leave their communities in ruins? Then join Morarake Basso, the new nightmare for Kenya's President William Ruto, after the GNZ. Please listen in and share your comments on the comment section. And to our president, God has given you a chance to lead this nation. You're already a billionaire, no secret. There is nothing more that money can do for you. Money has already made you president. There is nothing above this. Please, if you really care about corruption, begin with yourself. Call yourself into a meeting and ask yourself, would you like to continue being a president that leads in corruption or that leads in development? On Saturday, August 31st, Morara Kebaso and his team began the Nyanza cleanup at the Kisumu Afri Series complex, which was initially allocated 890 million and later revised to 1.3 billion. He noted that this is what has been achieved so far. They made a brief stopover at Kondele, with hopes of gathering larger crowds as the tour progresses. Kebaso acknowledged that it was a good start, but pointed out that the biggest challenge so far are the need for additional security and improvements to the sound system. I'm in Kisumu, and this is the Afri Cities Complex, and this project was allocated 890 million, but uh, it stalled in 2022 because the contractor's money ilipata migu. The contractor had already been paid 250 million. He had been certified to be paid another 200 million. But kuna maali hapo katikati hiyo pesa inapata giza. So I'm here with my comrades and friends. We've come to see this project and see how much it has stalled. This contractor has actually revised the cost of this project to 1.3 billion because as he is on site, he is continuing to incur expenses. So a project that was supposed to cost 890 million could now cost 1.3 billion. I think that's 500 million more. That's about half a billion more. Yeah, because of this kind of delays. And I kept telling you that uh, pending bills is a way of looting government funds. And sometimes some of these funds is released but is kept in private accounts to earn interest. Thank you so much for attending this episode of The Vampire Diaries. Remember Papa Lopezidondola officer day was here this morning uh, to promise more to the people of Kisumu without first fulfilling the promises that have already been made and without investigating and arresting the persons that are looting public funds. So this is the advice that I would give to the government. If you know that there is any public funds that has been stolen, because the young people of this country are coming for you, we know where you live, we know what you own, we know where you stole the money, we know where you took it, we are taking our country back and we are saying no to corruption. We don't want corruption in our country. We want a country that functions where there is good health care, good education, opportunities for the youth. Kama tungekua na opportunities, tungekua busy ya tungekua hapa. But because Ruto ametunyima opportunities, he has made us his business. And now we've made him our business. Yes. He won a mali, he's made our neighbor. Kuna walimu more than 46,000. And he said, mame, we'll get 847 billion. Ati agawaniwa kaki parliament. Ami waibia, ame ibia ni walimu. Kini ukweni. Bi ame ibia paka walimu. Alisema ameongeza polisi pesa. Mimi nimeongea na polisi. Hawajaongezwa pesa. Na kama wameongezwa wamekatwa. Wa Kenya itabidi mjisimamie. Na nijue kwamba mko peke yangu na wanasiasa wanatumia jina yenu kukuna pesa. Yesu Yesu mtu anapanda ndege anaenda ngambo. Anaenda kukopa 40 billion. Yeye mmempa yeye rusa kitapa yako kitu.
tukisema Ruto lies unasema all the time sawa sawa Ruto lies and all the time and that is his nature thank you